Murphy's well-being is a consult, a genre for community deliberation on a superfund emergency. There is a disturbance in the wellness field of North Central Florida. There is an appeal, a call from our neighborhoods, and from one neighborhood in particular, named for the songwriter Stephen Foster. It is a test of response ability. What is that feeling? Is it obligation? The stickiness of pine tar is an allegory of what bonds us with our neighbors. How can the Stephen Foster neighborhood serve as a fable about the wellness of America? First, because Stephen Foster is acclaimed as the father of American music, composing Old Folks at Home for a blackface troupe in 1851, Foster needed a name for the river referred to in the lyrics. Foster never visited the South, but he found the name Swanee in a dictionary. A version of the song boldlerized to remove reminders of the slavery institutionalized in the antebellum South is now the state song of Florida. Stephen Foster imagined our plantation as an image of happiness, if only it was as easy to purify our water as it is to clean up history. Who else imagined our happiness? Samuel Taylor Coleridge in Kubla Khan, one of the greatest poems of the romantic imagination, invented a composite city called Xanadu in Xanadu did Kublai Khan a stately pleasure dome decree. Coleridge based his description of the pleasure dome mostly on Bartram's travels, published in the late 18th century, in which Bartram described the karst topography of north central Florida. Four sites are composited in Xanadu, Shangdu, Kublai Khan's capital city, the mountains of Kashmir, the caves of Abyssinia, and the sinkholes and underground river of Alachua County. In other words, what happens to us is happening in Xanadu. Xanadu is polluted, and the old folks at home testify to the disaster. The Florida Research Ensemble produced Murphy's Well-Being to help us understand our fix. Other consultants inform the community about engineering options or corporate calculations of cost-benefit outcomes. Emer agency consultants add the insights of arts and letters expertise, concerned with a measure of well-being which, we know, is priceless. The testimony of our neighbors is a call not just to duty, but to Xanaduty. The Well of Stories is a database Xanadu a potential fable to remind us that the local is global. As Xanaduans, we live in four places simultaneously, Alachua County, India, Hollywood, and Utopia. Four forces shape our destiny recorded in four subplots, the first of which consists of the testimonies of neighbors reporting from the disaster zone. The second track is the history of pine tar. It is the story of corporations going back to the discovery of America by Europeans trying to get to India to trade in pepper and other spices. They treated the hulls of their ships with pine tar. The third subplot is our mythology dramatized in Hollywood tales of superheroes that express our belief in the capacity of individuals to change the world. The fourth subplot is philosophy, the voice of wisdom, explaining our ideals about well-being, about how the world should be. If the story of Murphy's well-being is a fable of Xanaduty, its moral remains to be constructed by interacting with the well. What is our answer to the ancient question, how should we live? The well is an archive of narrative tracks to be explored in basic montage units, 
a collective fable composed one ideogram at a time. The fable emerges by juxtaposing neighbors' testimonies with passages from the other Xanadu places. You consult with the well by selecting neighbors and relating them to one or more of the subplots shaping their world. History, mythology, philosophy. The inventors of cinema learned from Asian ideograms how to express thought by means of images. An ideogram combines two sensory properties to evoke an immaterial thought. The Chinese character for happiness combines the figure of music, a hand striking a drum, with singing, an open mouth. Happiness is a feeling like that expressed in a song, a song such as Old Folks at Home, Way Down Upon the Murphy Wellness Field. How do these ideograms make you feel? A clue to the moral of the fable is in the very name of Murphy's Wellfield, since the Murphy game is a classic confidence trick, a bait-and-switch scam native to American folk culture. We wanted pepper and got poison. If you used pepper today, you helped pollute Xanadu. The pine tar commodity produced at the Cabot Copper site is a kind of tar baby, like the one created by Briar Fox and Briar Bear to catch Briar Rabbit and the fables adapted to cinema in Walt Disney's Song of the South. But is that really our song? Our South? There's a note of optimism in these stories since the trickster rabbit always extricated himself from the fix. Let us hope that is also our story. <laughs>